Welcome to our lecture online. A third method to find the torque is to use the vector method. Here we're actually doing the cross product. The torque can be found by taking the position vector and multiplying it with the force via the cross product. And that's there the matrix we need to solve. If the position vector is two meters in the x direction and the force has an x component of minus six newtons in the x direction, I should say six newtons in the negative x direction and eight newtons in the negative y direction, then let's find the torque by this particular scenario. So the torque is equal to R cross force, which is equal to the following matrix. It is the x component, the y component, and the z component unit vectors. The x component of the r vector would be 2, I'll leave out the units. The y component is 0, and the z component is 0. And for the 4s, the x component is minus 6, the y component minus 8, and the z component 0. Let's now find the torque using this method. This is equal to the x unit vector times 0 times 0 minus 0 times 8 minus the y unit vector times 2 times 0 minus 0 times the negative 6 and plus the z component of the unit vector 2 times the negative 8 that's a 2 times the negative 8 minus 0 times negative 6 0 times negative 6 you can see here that the x and the y component are both 0 and the z component is equal to minus 16 and of course we write that with the units we note that units of torque are newton meters so the final answer is the torque is equal to minus 16 newton meters in the z direction I should say 60 newton meters in the negative z direction that's the torque because we always talk about vectors in terms of their magnitude and direction so the magnitude is 60 newton meters the direction is in the negative z direction which in this case would be into the board and that's how we find the torque in case everything is given to you in terms of vectors and vector quantities. And that's how it's done.